Our next story is from Africa, from Botswana in the south. It's a moderately large landlocked nation and home to just about two and a half million people, which makes Botswana one of the most sparsely populated countries on earth. So what is happening with this relatively empty African nation? Well, it has decided to pick a fight with Germany. Botswana's president has threatened the Germans, not with a conventional war or anything like that, no. Botswana is threatening to send elephants to Germany, 20,000 of them. The message is, see how you like living with them. To understand this mammoth spat, we need to understand Botswana and its elephants. This country is home to about one third of the world's elephant population, about 130,000 of them, 130,000 elephants. Botswana is one of their last sanctuaries. African elephants used to roam across most of the continent at one point, but poaching and animal-human conflict have thinned their numbers. The situation is especially bad in poorer areas. For example, northern Cameroon. It once had thousands of elephants, but the last major survey counted only 148. Elephants are expected to go extinct there because poachers kill them for their valuable tusks, for ivory. But Botswana's elephants have avoided this fate. The country is one of the richest per capita in Africa. It has a thriving diamond export trade, and it is known for wildlife tourism. The income from tourism is second only to that from diamonds. And a lot of this money is reinvested in Botswana's nature reserves. It is used to defend against poachers and improve the lives of people that stay close to the reserves. Now, all of this sounds, so, sounds good so far, but there's also a problem. Botswana cannot handle all the elephants it has. There are too many to keep track of. They keep encroaching into human settlements and incidents of human-animal conflict are on the rise. So what does Botswana do? It allows people to hunt the elephants. That's right. The world's best example of conservation is also an elephant hunting zone. Botswana allows rich foreigners to come to the country. They pay for a hunting license, pretend to be wild, intrepid explorers, slay an animal that did nothing wrong to them, and then take home a hunting trophy. You can imagine why rich, soft urban Europeans would enjoy this. A reenactment of colonial exploitation recreating the imperial experience. It sounds disturbing, but Botswana says it is pragmatic. Europeans pay good money for these hunts, so Botswana humors the intrepid cosplayers, takes their money and uses it to fund conservation efforts. A side effect is that these hunts help cull the elephant population, helping reduce human-animal conflict. Morally speaking, it doesn't sound like a great solution, but if Botswana is taking care of the elephants, who are we to lecture them? Of course, the Europeans do not share this worldview. They love to preach morality and ethics, even when it's their own citizens who are paying for the hunts. Which brings us back to present day. Germany is planning to clamp down on the import of hunting trophies. Basically, animal bones and hide like from the hunted elephants. The German government believes that this will discourage trophy hunting. After all, if the cosplayers cannot show off, maybe they won't bother. Germany's intention is good, but it seems they haven't consulted Botswana. The president of Botswana is furious about this. The country has set up a delicate system, a way to pay for the conservation, but Germany unilaterally wants to do away with this. And they have the cheek to lecture Botswana while they're at it. Which is why Botswana's president, Masisi, made a threat. He said he wants to give Germany a gift, a gift of 20,000 elephants, and he says he won't take no for an answer. Masisi said Germans should, and I'm quoting, live together with the animals in the way you're trying to tell us to. Imagine 20,000 elephants in Berlin lounging around the Brandenburg Gate and blocking traffic along the Autobahn. Maybe Germany and Europe in general deserve this, a reward for all their sermons, but that may be unfair to the elephants themselves. For the greater good, maybe they should remain in Botswana, and the next time Europe wants to do something, they should talk to the Africans instead of taking unilateral decisions and making mammoth mistakes.